Let's look at some evergreen trees in identification video number 14. We will look at a couple of hollies in the American holly and the yopon, as well as the Leland cypress and eastern red cedar. So getting started, let's take a look at the American holly. The American holly um, is Ilex opaca, Ilex meaning any of the hollies, and, and this is the American holly, so it'll be opaca. But the American holly is going to have that glossy green leaf on that top side with three to five spines on each side. This is seen in the wild as an understory tree, um, but these leaves are going to be anywhere from two to four inches long. Again, it is evergreen. Um, when you look at the hollies, the American holly will have those red berries, um, green berries turning red later on in the growing season. But the American holly is that understory tree, Ilex opaca. And then you have the yopon. Okay, you got a couple of cuttings of yopon here. Ilex vomitoria. The legend is that the Indians danced around and ate the berries um, to make them sick, basically, or it would make them throw up. So, vomitoria uh, is a good way to, that's a good way to remember the scientific name. You eat enough of these berries, they'll make you sick, make you vomit. Okay, so the yopon, Ilex vomitoria, is also evergreen. When you look at the leaves themselves, very small leaf, one maybe two inches long but generally one maybe even a little less and a quarter inch to one inch in width they're going to be oval leaves and the margins on the edge are going to have these rounded teeth the fruit itself is a quarter inch roughly and it will also turn red the yopon is kind of used as more of a hedge in the landscape if it's used in the landscape where American holly is more of an understory tree. Um, okay, so let's look at next is the Leland cypress. The Leland cypress, if you'll look here, one of the distinct features when you look at it is these branchlets have this flat plane. So it branches in that flat plain. It's also going to be bluish green in color. Now the Leland Cypress Cupresso Soparis X Lelandi is a hybrid. So it's not going to have any pollen or seeds, seed bodies on it. Okay. The bark itself, we'll flip it over on the back side and again this kind of shows you how it branches in that flat plain. The bark is reddish brown and scaly. In the landscape, this is used largely as a screening tree um, in order to screen out the neighbors or make a good put on a fence row in order to kind of grow up and give a little bit of privacy in a homeowner's backyard. Lastly, we have the Eastern Red Cedar. Eastern Red Cedar's scientific name is Juniperus virginiana, and it's going to have these scale-like needles as well that are short. The fruit is a, a basically a round ball that is a quarter of an inch to a third inch in diameter that will turn dark blue at maturity. When you look at the tree as a whole, the crown is compact and shaped kind of like a pyramid. So uh, the eastern red cedar um, is actually kind of a, a pioneer species in the sense that it was the first traditional southern Christmas tree. So a lot of people use these as Christmas trees. Some still do today, but there's new varieties um, that people might prefer over some other ones. But this was used as a Christmas tree in the past. Other than that, 
The eastern red cedar also gets its name red cedar because of that red heart that's in the middle as, as it gets older. Um, a lot of people are familiar with the furniture that's built from cedar trees, um, that pretty red that's ingrained in the wood and in the middle of the wood um, is denote, denoted by the eastern red cedar and makes it popular for furniture. So let's review the four evergreens that we looked at in this video. First we had these dark glossy leaves with the three to five spines on each side. Okay, this was American Holly, Ilex opaca. Then we saw some smaller leaves from this holly. Okay, with those rounded teeth on the margins of the, the smaller leaves. Ilex vomitoria or Yopon. Then we looked at a popular screening plant in the landscape with that branches on a flat plane, the bluish green scale-like needles, the Leland cypress. Then we had lastly the first traditional southern Christmas tree with those scale-like needles. Okay, this is the eastern red cedar. That makes the four trees for this identification video.